You know that classic Christmas song by Nat King Cole that goes, A turkey and some mistletoe. I'd play it, but if I do, well, I can forget about Christmas shopping altogether. But the thing is, I never really related to that song because the Christmas meat of choice in my household growing up was ham. And listen, I get it. The only way to get a good ham is to wait in a long line at Honey Bake. True story, by the way. And if you fail to get in line early, you end up settling for dumping canned pineapple and Marciano cherries on a tin ham from Albertsons. But listen, I get it. It's Christmas. It's the thought that counts. And you clearly didn't put any of that into your dish, Aunt Rita. But thankfully, through the help of spices and technology, we can make a nice Christmas ham that will make the season brighter than a Christmas tree right before it catches fire. Weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place... Okay, for this, grab yourself a nice three-pound carving ham. Oh, no, don't bother with the pre-cut spile cut hams, because we're going to sous vide it, and with my method, it's going to turn out really messy. Grab yourself a sous vide bag. Make sure they're nice and long. Uh, link in the description, by the way. Let's place the ham. Smooth side up, bumpy side down. And now for some spices. Let's toss in one cinnamon stick. Flip it around. Three star anise pods. Oh, and uh, when you put the star anise in the bag, make sure you put the sharp side down. If not, you're gonna puncture a hole come vacuuming time and you're gonna be a bigger Christmas dinner ruiner than the family member that brings up politics. And to be clear, I'm talking about both your conspiracy theory, believe in gun toting, truck driving uncle, and your all organic, vegan, blue haired leftist cousin. Ain't we a big happy family? And finally, let's sprinkle in two teaspoons of whole cloves. Oh, and if one of your cloves go AWOL, that's fine. As long as it's touching the ham, you'll be fine. Let's vacuum seal this baby shut. Well, and a Christmas shopping hack. If you're gonna buy fancy kitchen electronics or any electronics, go with name brand stuff that isn't cheaply made in China. Seriously, when I was testing out this recipe, I had so much problems with this. And voila. Okay, let's add our ham to our bath water. Now let's set the temperature for 145. Do you think Americans don't have high enough voltage to boil water? <laughs> the number you're looking for is 63 degrees Celsius. And while our sous vide heats up our bath, let's take care of the glaze. To a bowl, let's add a cup and a half of brown sugar. Half a cup of brown mustard. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. About two tablespoons of brandy. And a quarter cup of root beer. Oh, no, this is important. Make sure it's made with real cane sugar. Because last time I checked, artificial sweeteners like aspartame don't caramelize well. Grab a whisk and mix this all together. Okay, this glaze is too thin. I'm gonna add more sugar. All right, you want to have a nice thick consistency. I'm talking Cartoon Network mom thick. All right, let's cover this with saran wrap. And store it in the fridge. And as for the ham, once it comes up to temperature, let it go for three hours. Okay, and once those three hours are up, turn on your oven's broiler. Oh, and if you like what you see so far, do me a favor, go down to this video and hit the subscribe button. I don't want to sound like derv, but if we reach 5,000 subscribers, I'll do another giveaway. Okay, it's been three hours and our ham is done cooking. Well, it's pre-cooked, but 
Meh, I made it better. So let's snip open the bag. Oh, yeah. Trust me, the smell that's coming out of here is par to none. All right, and uh, let's remove all of our spices. Place our hams bumpy side down on a on a cooling line baking sheet. Uh, I got some aluminum foil here that'll make clean up easier because it's time to paint on the glaze. Let's bring our inner Bob Ross and hopefully we won't have any happy little accidents as we glaze our ham. All right, now into our oven it goes. Let's stick our ham into our broiler oven. And leave it in there for five minutes. Okay, looking good, but it could use one more coat of glaze. And back in it goes for another five minutes. And after final glaze in the oven, let's cut into it. Beep. Um, let me cut a thicker piece. With the ham ready to go, now we can have a merry little Christmas. And listen, I know the oven is making noise and I usually wait for it to stop, but I got up late, I started shooting late, there was all kinds of interruptions that you didn't see, and I have to wake up early for work tomorrow. So the least you can do is support me on Patreon, link in the description. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon.